Grab bait, baby. Grab your patty. All right, guys, we're getting ready to go crabbing. And all you need to go crabbing is some chicken. We got some chicken necks here. Crab bait, baby. You can really use any type of chicken, though. We use chicken wings, whatever's cheapest usually. Basically, I need some twine. We're gonna get some twine out or some, we also have some like weighted crab lines. Poke it through the chicken, throw it out there, and we're gonna start knitting, baby. Hey, it's gonna come crabbing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got our weighted crab line here. Get ready, gonna put some chicken on it. And we're here at low tide. There's a nice channel here where the boats take out. Crabs seem to like to go in the channels and just chill down there. So we're gonna throw the crab line in the channel. Let's hold it, wait till you feel a little tug, reel in slowly. Then we're gonna use one of our nets, scoop them up. Bait of choice, chicken neck, or you can use chicken thighs and chicken drumsticks. But chicken necks tend to stay on the hook better. Or chicken wings, or chicken wings. <laughs> Bam, just like that. And that'll stay on. All right, now let's go cast it out. All right. Channel's right there. We're gonna try and put it right on top of it. Now comes the waiting game. Now we just wait until we feel a crab. Good family activity. Go Haley. All right, now watch the technique. Ready? She holds on to the thing with the left hand. <laughs> round and round and round she goes, and then launch. Ooh, right on top of my, get that away from my chicken. <laughs> it's chicken. like right next to it. Oh. <laughs> Stinking the nose. Okay, I'm gonna go out to your right then, I guess. There. I see your chicken. So Luke's gonna want to approach this right in line, if not to the left of the chicken. It's a small one. Got him! Bam! Blue Success. crabs. Blue crabs. Go Haley. Oh, uh, you got a little nugget, huh? A little chicken, <laughs> little chicken neck nugget. That's what that is. <laughs> they need to be at least five inches where we are. So check your local regulations so you don't break the law. All right, I got a small one in. It's right out there next to the chicken neck. We're gonna send the catcher in, the ringer. I pulled it in nice and slowly. That's the ticket to make sure these crabs don't scoot. We got two on. Oh, double dutch bus. We got one. We're gonna work our way through these small ones and get on to some bigger ones. Oh, two of them? Come on, guys. <laughs> it's going nice and slow. Look at how slow I'm pulling. Just like that, all the way in. I usually go a little faster. Sort of fight them like a fish. Um, Luke. Luke, get over here. Pull, pull and drag, look at that, look at that. He's running with line. Mm -hmm. See my chicken down there? Uh, there's one on him. Whoa! Whoa! He ran with it. He might have seen you. Get up get up to the left of it. He, he, he took drag, man. <laughs> hey, don't make him go towards my line. He's going towards Jack. Yeah, if you noticed. We're crabbing where we shrimp. Wherever you find shrimp is usually a good spot to find some crabs. Double dutch. Mm. Hey, that's probably the same two closer. crabs. Deposit them over here. Grab your patty. Too small. Yep. All right, so we're catching a lot of little ones here. This is probably a pretty popular spot. It's a big boat ramp. So you can probably assume that a lot of people come crab in here. They probably take away most of the big ones. Your best bet finding big ones is a nice secluded area. Doesn't get crab much. 
that's where you know the big ones are gonna be able to grow and get big no one's gonna be taking them so definitely if you're catching a lot of little ones and the big ones you know scoot around a little bit look for new spots explore and try to find spots where people don't usually go where there's not like a whole big a lot of pressure on the crabs and generally have better luck there Ooh. all right so a new day went to a different spot a little less pressure here so make sure you explore a little bit don't just give up until you find the big ones all right we got our first keeper of the day look at them claws booyah like we say just keep going around till you find the honey hole find some big crabs <laughs> all right so these crab lines you can buy at walmart we'll put a link below well, it's pretty easy just unclip it get any piece of chicken works we just get the cheapest one got some nice thighs Don't forget to pick up your trash. It's low tide. We got a nice channel here. We're just gonna chuck it out. And we like to anchor it down with some uh, oyster shells like this. And the crabs will come to chicken. Reel them nice and slow. You feel them tugging. Reel them in real close and scoop them with the net. Easy, Crabby easy. Daddy. Like my one-handed crabbing technique. It feels heavy. Oh. Whoa! Big one! That's a Mac Daddy. Jimmy number one! Jimmy number one! Go! I told you, going against the current, you got a big boy on. Here we go! Is there a crab on? Woo! He's pretty. If you guys have learned some helpful information from this video, be sure to help us out and subscribe to our channel and turn those notifications on. We'll be releasing more information about how to catch more saltwater and freshwater fish. We already have a ton of great informational videos up there, so be sure to check them out. Alright y'all, here we go. We got a couple crabs today, not a ton. But we got about four of them. Probably come back out later tonight, catch some more, maybe make a little crab dip, but there you go. Make sure you move around a little bit till you find out where the honey hole is, where there are bigger crabs, less pressured areas, gonna produce more bigger crabs. And uh, that's how you do it. That's how you go crab fishing with little strings and little chicken necks. Not much to it, but it works. <laughs>